Pioneer CDJ 2000 Nexus 2. Obviously, top of the line, one of the best CD players. Well, it is probably the best CD player in the world right now. Um, used in clubs, in Ibiza, from Ibiza to pubs in Soweto. Yeah. You've got your jog mode, your CDJ mode, so you can have your vinyl mode or just straight up for matching beats. Um, I've also added the vinyl speed adjust so you can actually adjust the brake speed and the startup speed. Touch screen this is a 7 inch fully touch screen. Um, you can zoom in here, easy, easy to do. Uh, you have your search functionalities. You've got a full quality keyboard so I can search for anything. Haunted Bad Kingdom, I can go there and load the song. Easy as that. And you can actually search by by uh, you can search by by key. You can search so you can search by key in meaning meaning that you can search which which songs are gonna mix in well with each other in terms of melodies. But once you've record boxed your songs, the keys are red and everything works well like that. Um, eight banks for hot cues. So you can actually set it on the fly. That was playing right there. I could press another one and 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 another one. And I'll I'll be able to jump to any one of these at any time during my sets. And these can also be set in record box. And if, if I don't want to use it there, I could just delete it, go back to the other page, delete it, and delete and on the fly. It's also got a quantize feature. So the quantize feature if you've got that on and if you're jumping through between hot cues and your and your looping, it, 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 it doesn't go off time. If you're playing it through two decks and you've got them linked, it stays on time, it stays neat and tidy so you don't sound like you're doing something stupid. Feels like my heart has been ripped out in there. Whiskey's my ecstasy. I just wish that you would stay, stay. Please don't leave me. And now going to the mother of all mixes, um, Pioneer's DJM 900 Nexus 2 is definitely top of the line. I, I like the, the, the 2000 Nexus 2 but it gets complicated with that screen and stuff. This is still very much a, a DJ mixer. It has everything that you need and it's with a little more bells and whistles but not too much to over... To overdo it. I think the 2000 Nexus 2 is overdoing it, but if you're that type of guy who wants to really get into your live performance and stuff, then the 2000 Nexus is free. But for me, I just like the basic effects. The basic, well, not basic, it's got a Magvel fader, so the crossfader is actually perfect. If you're a kind of guy who likes scratching and stuff, I uh, like a bit of both, but if you just like the scratching, you know this is not gonna let you down. It's gonna last, it's gonna be rugged, robust, and it's really gonna be good for some good cuts. Um, it's got your, your crossfader section here, so you can actually have the isolator for, for your E2 curve. The channel faders, that's how sharp they are, or you can have it just here for your crossfader bend. Um, your effect section is pretty much the same, but they've added is FX frequency, so you can actually isolate the effects for just the bass, mid or treble of a song. So that's, that's um, also another added extra for performance and stuff like that. In terms of the, in terms of the effect section, this, this part up there is completely touched. It's um, got a filter for the reverb. It's got your, 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 your effect sections like this and you'll be able to jump through between the beats. Everything is touched and works incredibly. Thank you for joining me, DJ Tex, Sound Select, out.